Hey everyone, I'm out at a service call right now for a gateway device, Enphase gateway device that was getting no power to it and uh, quickly figured out that it was just a bad fuse in the disconnect here. Uh, it sounds like a simple thing, but obviously you got to figure out why the fuse is blowing and uh, what the source of that is. Turns out they used 30 amp fuses, which was appropriate for this installation, uh, but they used a fuse producer in a 60 amp fusible disconnect to get down to a 30 amp fuse. Um, problem was they um, used a, a rejection type reducer on both ends instead of just one end. So they obviously didn't know what they were doing and it looks like this bottom part is completely loose if you can see it. So it was arcing and uh, heating up and eventually this fuse blew. And you can see it's a little bit discolored, so the, the copper on the end of the fuse there is all discolored. And that's the source of the issue. It really was unnecessary to use the fuse holders. If this was designed um, to use a, a di different fuse, like I'm going to pop these 35 amp fuses in here and everything's going to be fine. The wires are actually substantial enough for a 60 amp fuse here, so I can use anywhere from a 35 to a 60 amp fuse in this fusible disconnect and still be code compliant. So uh, anytime you um, have an opportunity to use a regular size fuse versus a fuse reducer, might as well go full size. It really just doesn't make sense to do this. And what happens is the system gets engineered for the smaller fuse and the installer just does whatever the engineer says. And that's one of the reasons that I do my own drawings. I know the conditions, I know the pitfalls of doing something like this, and uh, it just makes sense to use the full size fuses. So that's it for this installation uh, or this service call should be able to pop these fuses in, get the system up and running, and uh, won't have any further issues.